Hey there guys. So, it's kind of been a while since we played this, but there has been reasons for it. Uh, OBS has been a bit of a butt lately with some of the games that I've been recording. Just randomly stuttering up like no one's business and I don't understand why. And yeah, it, it's just been a bit of a mess to try and record, especially Resident Evil 2 and Danganronpa. It's just been glitching out and going crazy. I did test out my capture card earlier and unfortunately I'm not very well versed with it yet because I've never had to use it before. But with OBS being as full of nonsense as it has been, I'm going to have to teach myself how to do that and the various apps and things that I'm going to need for it. But that's okay. Because I'm doing this so that we can all go through these adventures together and so that we can finish these games together. Because it's more fun finishing things with other people game-wise than anything else, right? So last episode we were... yeah, it was the Chihiro and Mondo case and holy crap was that interesting. So now where we are picking up is this is the aftermath of the Chihiro and Mondo case. So let's let's see what's going on, how everyone's doing. I know I shouldn't cry. Well, that was definitely not what I was expecting, but okay. But I've had enough. I can't take it anymore. Getting out of here anytime soon. It's impossible. I can't let myself think about how much I want to get out of here. If I keep thinking like that, I might decide to... Donuts. I need to eat some donuts. That'll cheer me up. Nice donuts, twisty donuts, jelly donuts, cream full donut holes, malasadas. What the hell is that? Well, that's something I'm gonna have to Google. Okay. Oh god of donuts, I'm praying for a wonderful encounter. I'm sorry. Please forgive me for breaking the nighttime rule. But right now, for me, donuts are absolutely necessary. What is that? Huh? That sound is actually oddly familiar. Huh? What's that sound? Oh god, I'm probably showing my age a little bit here, but. Anyone remember dot matrix printers? It kind of sounds like that. Just slow down a bit. Hmm. Sound like it's coming from the bathhouse. Hmm. But... I'm super scared, but is is someone there? Well, I sure as hell was not expecting that, that's for sure. The next generation legend, stand tall galactic hero. Okay. The morning after the conclusion of the second class trial. Everyone met up in the dining hall, just like always. And I expected it to start, just like any other day. That's what I expected, but... <sighs> Today's count kinda sucks, huh? Toko and Byakuya still refuse to show up. Um... And I haven't seen Miss Asahina anywhere. Hmm. She said her stomach was hurting, so she's taking it easy in her room for today. Oh! That is rather unusual for her. Normally she is so full of energy. Hmm. Which is exactly what makes me worry. So then... So it's just the seven of us then. It looks that way. How about that? It's times like this where the committee chairman needs to get things going with a bang. Uh Taka, you kinda sorta look undead over there, my dude. Impossible. Or not. Wow. 
Taka hasn't said a word since everything that happened yesterday. One look at his face showed he hadn't slept a wink last night. It must be because of Mondo. The two of them became so close, and then he finds out Mondo killed Chihiro? And then having to watch Mondo get punished? And nothing he could do about it. I can't imagine what it must have done to him. Well... So, I mean, what's gonna happen now? We haven't found any way out, and we have no idea if help's ever gonna come. <laughs> it's like... Now I'm all depressed just thinking about it. <laughs> we simply have to make the best of things. Do our best to get along and live here together in peace. You are oddly on board with the idea of staying. What is in the outside world that you don't like? Or what is it that's making you run and decide to stay here? Forget about the outside world and accept this new life. That is the only hope we have now. What, to live here forever? Well... Here we have every convenience. We have food, clothes, or every need is seen to. Why are you dissatisfied? <sighs> In fact, let me ask you this. What is it about the outside world that you long for? Is that okay? Competition, discrimination, victimization, and violence. As society grows, so does its perversion. Honestly, I can't actually argue with that. She's, she's not wrong. In which case, is our current situation not? <laughs> what? Demon Angel Pretty Pudgy Princess. What the fuck? Uh Okay. Huh? Here we go. Meggy, the jewel shop owner, the bunny eared Amazon, Cat Girl Dog Boy, Robo Justice the Galactic King. Yeah, uh, fool me your face over there, dude. And and <laughs> I mean is there's no 2D here. There is nothing to be done. The masterminds put such base desire to their advantage, bending you to their will. You know? Okay, well, anyway, since Taka's like catatonic. <sighs> as the oldest here, I'm officially stepping up to take the lead. That is not gonna end well. So, we're all gonna work together and spend the rest of the day searching the school. I might have been proven wrong. Searching? I'm right, right? Well, I mean, since the class trial is over and all, perhaps there should be new places for us to investigate. Hmm. Yeah, that's a ticket. Maybe we'll find some kind of clue this time. Well then. Then once we're done eating, let's split up and begin looking around. Do you have any problem with that, Celeste? <laughs> hmm. There may well be a discovery waiting for us, which may further enrich our life here. You are way too on board with this. I would have honestly thought with your reputation as being the top gambler or whatever that you'd want to get out. Why are you happy to stay? Yeah, no, the point is to look for clues. And just as we were starting to come together, she barged in and ruined the conversation. You called for me, so I appeared. I completely forgot about the weird thing with the tongue that you got going there. You called for me, and so I appeared. Genocide! What? Nobody called for you! Uh, um... What the... How come it's Genocide Joel and not Toko? Yes! God, this place is just amazing! Finally, a place I can be my... Just be my murderous self. Which is why I've decided to stop holding back and spread my wings. No more hiding in a cave for me. Uh -huh. Plus, I have another battle to fight. The whole killer with a split personality thing is so overdone. I gotta destroy that stereotype. You -B. Dude, seriously, your tongue. What the fuck is going on with your tongue? I'll fight all day and all night to murder those totally slanderous cliches. Uh, um. But you are a killer with a split personality. <laughs> If she weren't here, my chances of survival would go up at least 10%. Uh -huh. Come on, you gotta back me up here. Even the biggest stars need the little people to hold them up. You are the weirdest person I've ever had the pleasure of playing a game for with. <laughs> oh god. Huh. 
Well, whatever else we do today, first we should eat. We can't do anything on an empty stomach. You're right. Let's hurry up and eat so we can start our investigation. Weirdo. So we were forced to eat breakfast with a murderer, and after our much needed but very annoying meal, we set to work looking around the school. Okay. Leave the area, yes please. So Ah, there we go. Can I go up this way? No, apparently not. Is there any other stairs that I should have on? Maybe three gear. <clears throat> oh, there we go. Hey, you know what? Let's stop off over here. Spend some of those Monokuma coins. Get some gifts. And I know people are going to yell at me, but I'm going to... Uh, I do like five or ten. Give it a shot. All right, let's give it a shot. Okay, so I'm gonna spend like between five and ten coins per chance. What? Oh, mouse wheel. That's odd. All right, let's go. Ten coins. Hmm, ring. Some ten more. Ooh, glasses. Pretty <laughs> interesting. Oh, nice. This thing has the weirdest and most random gifts that it just pops out. It's so strange. Truly odd. Yay. That looks like armor. We're going to war, boys. Interesting. Poster. I really wonder how comfortable that stuff is. I need to find out someday. Intriguing. Some of these things, I really don't know what they are just based off the picture. It's highly confusing. Okay. Almost done, almost done. For a second, I thought that looked like underwear. Bindings and under armor and stuff like that. Maybe stuff Sakura can use. Okay. Another one? Wow. I'm feeling lucky. Oh, whoop. Okay. Oh, okay, that's wrong. I should probably get going. Yep, let's leave. So go this way. Ah, there we go. Let's go upstairs. I'm curious to see what's on the next floor. Okay. Oh, hey, uh, hero. Could it be? Nothing's changed on this hmm. floor. The only difference is the gate blocking the stairs leading up to the third floor is gone. I guess that's where the one is to head next. I wonder what kind of crazy stuff is up there. Hmm. Oh, that, that's a classroom if I'm not mistaken. Wait. Oh, go this way. That's a weird place to put stairs. I mean, come on.
the third floor of Hope's Peak Academy. I wonder what we're gonna find this time. What's up here? Oh. So, this is classrooms? Let's check them out. Just for the hell of it, you never know. <laughs> oh, Monokuma, you little bastard. Yeah, let's leave. Check out this one. I've got the worst freaking wallpaper I've ever seen. So in the end. The windows up here are also barred with metal plates. Not surprising, I suppose. So a sketch still looks impossible. <sighs> but I better check all the other metal plates again, just to be sure. You do that, Sakura. Okay, so that's the classrooms done. This is the rec room? Can we go in here? Oh, nice. Hmm, so this is... Let's see... A recreation room. A place for students to come and relax. I never would have imagined a school having a place like this. <laughs> well, no normal school would. It has a Othello, Shogi, even a dartboard and a pool table. And look at this. They've even provided us with a remarkable number of magazines. Isn't it wonderful? Those will certainly help in keeping our boredom at bay. Listen up! Uh, hi. Ring, ring, ring. Hello there. Allow me to expound. We've got fashion, motorcycles, martial arts, video games, baseball, science, all kinds of magazines. Ba -bum, ba -bum. Oh, but nothing dirty. This is a school after all. If you need a quick fix, check out the swimsuit mags. <laughs> So then, he's a little pervert. And will you be adding to our collection as new issues come out? Too bad. Sorry, no can do. Even if I wanted to, right now magazines are kinda, kinda what? Watch out! Oops. Nothing. Never mind. I don't know. Anyway, that's it for my expandation. Bye bye. Hmm. What you just said? I know, right? It bothers me too. Most unfortunate. Life here would be that much nicer if you could add some new issues once in a while. How disappointing. Really? Okay. Where does this go to? Oh, that just goes out. Okay, well that's convenient. What is her deal with suddenly just wanting to stay here? I don't get it. It's weird. Oh, hey Kyoko. It would seem... So the third floor opened up this time. After a brief investigation, it looks like there's a physics lab and an art room. Whew. I also found a huge machine of some kind in the physics lab. I wonder what it does. Interesting. So I'm guessing... Wow, this is a big open space. What is... Th I'm guessing this is like an art room or something? Oh, yeah, an art room. Oh boy. At first gla glance, this looks like any normal art room. But something about it seems off. Or multiple somethings. <laughs> well, well, look at all this equipment. It certainly scratches that artistic itch of mine. Art supplies, of course. But they've also collected all kinds of sculpting tools. Sculpting tools? So, Ifumi, do you like sculptures and figurines and stuff? Yes, indeed. Well, normally I limit myself to 2D, but figurines are like borderline 2D, so it's okay. I don't know how that's borderline, but okay. <laughs> I'm a fan of Chironbo, Pumpkinhead, and I especially admire anything that Saburo Ron Pongi makes. Whoa. Chironbo's ability to express the movement of muscles is exquisite, as seen in his Momo Cat series. Pumpkinhead is like a little sculptor fairy, representing this country's greatest quality. Saburo Ronpongi, meanwhile, is known for his Mecha Musume series, which led to a worldwide tour. <laughs> Truly, they can only be regarded as the Elite Four. But one of your Elite is missing. You know nothing! Well, the Elite Three just sounds stupid now, doesn't it? Yes, indeed. Besides, 
That empty seat rightly belongs to me. <laughs> it begins. Today begins my reign as legend as the legendary ruler of the next century. I see. Well, good luck with that. I'm gonna open the sword. Hmm. This is the repository that's attached to the art room. It's used to store different artsy things. Wait a minute. There's something on the floor. It looks like a picture. But as I stretched out my hand to pick it up, almost as of it's on its own, my hand froze. Wait a minute. Huh? What I saw in the picture was... Chihiro, Leon, and Mondo. And they were... smiling. And Chihiro is still even wearing the girl's clothes and... What is this? Questions started racing through my head, one after the other. Why is it only these three people? What are they doing together? How come they're smiling like that? When was it taken? Who took it? Where's the camera they used? how they get it developed? And in the picture, the window in the classroom, there's no metal plate covering it. Holy shit, this is just getting weirder and weirder. Which must mean, wherever this picture was taken, it wasn't here at Hope's Peak? But there was no time to find an answer. All the questions floating around my head were quickly drawn out by... That's mine! Give it back! Monokuma appeared out of nowhere and smashed the photo. And any chance I had at answers evaporated. Ha! You peaked, didn't you? Well, they all had some pretty dazzling smiles, huh? Isn't that wonderful? They were definitely living their school life. It's like they ripped a page right out of the book of youth. What's going on with that picture, do you know? <laughs> I'm not telling you nothing. Why can't you give me a straight answer? Never mind, I don't even know why I bothered asking. That was interesting. Mm -hmm. I just quickly want to see. Controls, lift, shift, observe, is tab. Okay, cool. There we go. Hmm. Yeah, nothing interesting here else that I feel is like worth checking out. I'm not, like I said before, I'm not gonna check out everything that's that doesn't really grab my attention. Like, I clicked on the picture because it was. It, it drew me, but everything else like examining the stuff, I'm not really gonna do that because most of them are all gonna get out of that is just Monokuma coins. So I don't really see a reason for getting those. Okay, so that covers the art room, but now I'm guessing this is to the physics lab? Let's go check it out. See what's in here. But that picture really brings up a lot of questions and I wonder if there's even going to be answers for any of those, because that is just so weird. Whoa. What the hell? This is the physics lab. It's less like a classroom and more like some kind of research institute. Uh, hi, Taka. Hey, Taka. Don't you think this place is like some kind of research institute? Still no reaction. Well, I don't see anything else that's really that much. Hey, wait a minute, there's a camera here. Oh, this is. It's a digital camera. It's got some kind of weird anime style design on it. It's kind of beat up, but, it's look like, but it looks like it still turns on just fine. Yep, it still works. I should later show the others later. Oh shit, there was the repository. Oh, well, never mind, I'm apparently heading into it already. Uh, this is the equipment room. It's super disorganized, and there's a strange chemical smell in the air. Uh -huh. Ah, this place is so relaxing, so calming. The smell of formaldehyde is almost unbearable. I'm getting seriously excited! It's so tempting! Uh -huh. ah, I just want to dunk myself right in it. Um. Uh, of course, Genocide Jack likes it. That just goes to show how disgusting it really is. 
Hmm. Wait a minute. There's a bunch of phones. You're probably all bad phones of research data. Oh, let's talk to her. Oh, it really is unbearable. A nice long bath and the tub of formaldehyde. That's true happiness. Just thinking about it makes me... Hmm. <clears throat> okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm just... I'm not touching that subject. I feel- I actually kind of do feel sorry for Taka. He's not a bad guy. But better look around a little more. What else would there be in here? It's just this massive freaking machine. This machine obviously has some kind of purpose, but I don't know anything about physics to begin with, so I wouldn't have a clue where to start with this. Am I missing something around here? What's up with this ridiculously big machine? Watch out! Oh. What? 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 You want to do some quantum leaping? Huh? Phew. That's the time machine. Pretty awesome, right? It was designed by a student right here at Hope's Peak. The ultimate physicist. Although they didn't go here anymore. They died during the tragedy. A time machine? Seriously? So, it can go back in time? Okay then, let me get in there. If I can go back to the past, then I can... This time I'll stop Mondo for sure. <laughs> oh, sorry, not possible. This particular time machine can only go back one minute. It comes in handy when you, like, leave your pizza bagels in the microwave one minute too long. One minute? Wah -wah? Hmm? You sound disappointed. Hmm. But actually, I was lying about the whole thing anyway. There's no such thing as time machines. What? Hey, um... Honestly, it's just an air purifier. Air purifier? In other words... It can produce clean air no matter where you're at. With that thing, you could even live on Mars. But with what with the discombobulating gravity and deadly low temperatures, you probably, you probably don't want to live on Mars. You guys? Anyway, this machine is the reason you guys have all this delicious air. So don't go messing with it. You break it and it's your butt. This huge thing is just an air purifier? And more than that... To go out of your way to say something you know will hurt someone who's already suffering. God damn you. Hmm. I discovered lots of stuff, and it was all strange. But I don't know if any of it was an actual clue. I'm just getting more confused. Maybe I should head to the dining hall and talk about it with everyone else. For now, I should head to the dining hall. Announcing it twice? Okay. When I got back to the dining hall, the first thing I noticed was... Ah. Ina? I tried to talk to her, but my voice was immediately drowned out by the others as they rushed into the dining hall. Ina. Huh? I thought she was sick or something. Everyone rushed past me and crowded around Hina. Being surrounded by everyone like that, Hina looked really uncomfortable. Hina. Are you feeling better already? <laughs> Yeah, I ate a few donuts, and that really helped a lot. You do love those donuts. Hmm. <clears throat> but wasn't it your stomach that was hurting? Well... Well, my stomach, it kind of made me hungry, so, you know. <laughs> I guess my memory's kind of fuzzy lately. Hmm. They say that a goldfish will eat however much food you give it, even if it's about to burst. Hmm. Hmm. The hmm. is pretty much hmm. the same, it looks like. Just a second! Hey! You of all people don't have any room to talk. Well. Anyway, I was worried about you. Sorry. Besides that, you... Huh? Huh? <laughs> Jeez, your knockers are huge. What the heck? Did you convince them to double up on milk production? <gasps> Holy shit, I just read that out loud and I'm trying so hard not to laugh. Because that... Okay. You, my dude, are hilarious. I'm sorry. That's... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Bastard! Stay away from her, fiend. Uh, um. uh, anyway, first things first. We should talk about what we found. Right, Taka? Hmm. Right. <laughs> okay. 
It's no use. Hmm. Oh, I just remembered. I saw Bianca a little while ago. What? Where? Where was he? You're kind of scaring me. Where was he? Um, he was in the locker room. He had a huge stack of books he must have got from the library. No, 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 no! So that's where he was hiding. I won't let him get away from me. <laughs> huh? Yeah, okay. She just ran off. Is, is she okay? <laughs> we should not concern ourselves with her. For once, I actually agree with the list. Where is she, by the way? Oh, there it's back. Correct. Hello. There was a rather remarkable physics lab on the third floor. In the middle of the room, there was a machine bigger than anything I've ever seen before. Oh yeah, apparently it's an air purifier. Huh? Huh? What's something like that doing here? Mm. Is the device really that big? Mm. I really don't get it. There is one piece of good news. There just so happens to be a rec room up on the third floor. I have no doubt our student life here will be even more enjoyable because of it. <laughs> you are starting to weird me out. Hmm, will someone join me in a game of Othello sometimes? I searched the entire third floor, but all the windows and the holes and the rooms were blocked off. I wish they'd give this a rest already, for serious. Give me back my bright blue skies. <laughs> Just forget about it. Impossible. You make it sound like I dropped a nickel or something. Huh. Just to be sure, I went from one end to the other, testing each metal plate. None of them budged. So in the end. It would seem escape via the third floor is as impossible as we feared. I see. Okay. Perverts. Mm -hmm. There was an art room on the third floor, and it had all kinds of gear. <laughs> Now I'll be able to recreate all my favorite anime characters. Really? Oh yeah, speaking of anime, that reminds me. I found something while I was looking around. Perhaps. Hmm? A digital camera? That's what it seems like. Hmm. Does it still work? Yeah, it seems fine. You know? Well then, let's see it. What the heck? What the heck? This thing is like a kid's toy. Uh huh. It looks like it can store like five pictures, maybe. It doesn't have a timer or anything. Well... On top of that, its appearance seems questionable. Is this some kind of anime character? Strange. You know nothing! Rude, she's not strange. She's Princess Piggles from Demon Angel Pretty Pudgy Princess. What the fuck, dude? Oh, you recognize this, Sifumi? <laughs> of course I recognize it. It's a super rare prize that was given away at a big one contest at a big anime convention. You have any idea how much I had to pay that guy to get my hands on it? Yeah. Wait, that's my camera! What? Damnation! Where did you find it? In the physics lab. <laughs> this one was prized possession. I brought it here with me, but I lost it the first day along with my phone. Let's see. Why would it have reappeared in the physics lab? However. Ugh, but look at it. What? It got all messed up. Like when someone steals a sticker from your collection, or you buy a second-hand shirt. Oh, that's it. Huh? That's it? It's not in condition, I don't need it anymore. But weren't you just saying how much it meant to you? Then, <laughs> may I have it? I might be able to find some sort of use for it. If any of you would like to borrow it, please feel free to ask. Hmm. Well, I can't really imagine any of us are gonna need to take any pictures or whatever. Yeah, there's not really much you guys can do in indoors. I mean, if I think of taking photos, I actually think of going outdoors to do that. Yeah, true. So, um... Um, I wasn't able to help much with the investigation, but I did make one discovery. Could it be... It didn't happen to be a donut-related discovery, did it? Hmm. What does that even mean? That's right. Never mind. It's about the nurse's office. Remember, there's one on the first floor, right? Well, I remember, but it's locked. Yeah. Actually, not anymore. So then, did you find any protein in there, or even vitamin supplements would be fine? Hmm. I did look, but no dice. Just a bunch of headache medicine and over-the-counter stuff. I see. 
That's disappointing. Aww. It is disappointing. Like, the end of the world is already here. Uh, I'm not sure that it's that disappointing. Okay, I've heard what everyone else has to say. So now it's my turn. Hey, um, can I tell you guys something? I found something that's kind of been bothering me. Ooh, yeah, that picture was interesting. I mean, uh, I think it's the same school, but just there, the, the windows weren't barred. What? What is it? I found this weird picture in the repository. Apparently Monokuma took it. A weird picture? You mean, like, dirty? Ew. No, not that kind of weird. It was a picture of Leon, Mondo, and Chihiro all together. Why? Those three? And the three of them were laughing. Oh. Um... She the three of them together, laughing. When could it have been taken? Yeah, because they weren't particularly close during this whole thing. The only only time I know of someone that was pretty close to each other was Leon, uh, not Leon, uh, Mondo and Taka. And there's more. In the picture, there weren't any metal sheets covering the windows. Well then. Then the picture wasn't taken here. Let's see. But I don't recall hearing anything about them knowing each other before coming to the school. Well. You probably just imagine Monokuma casts a spell on you. No, I saw it, I'm telling you. Hmm. But if it wasn't taken before we got here or after we got here. How about that? I bet they're all still alive. They left the school and then took that picture. Is that right? No, that's not possible. I mean, we all have seen them get killed pretty graphically. That's impossible. After all, we saw it with our own eyes. They're all dead. Either murdered or executed. And they're not the only ones. Monokuma killed Junko. And then there's Sayaka. That wasn't an illusion. It was real. I'm sure of it. They all died. There's no way any of them are still alive. Not only that, if that picture was supposedly taken from the outside, where's Junko and Sayaka? Why aren't they in the picture? So we have to figure out when that picture was taken. Monokuma most likely forged it. I can't imagine any other possibility. Forged? Is that all there is to it? Uh. Stay focused, man. Don't let Monokuma's bullcrap sidetrack you. <laughs> He's right, but more importantly, <laughs> on another topic, there's something that has been bothering me. I would like to discuss that. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> there's also something that has been bothering me, which I would like to discuss. Okay. What's bothering you, Celeste? Actually... <laughs> okay, this is, this is going in the realms of... This is gonna... This can explode. It's about Hina. Huh? What? Me? <laughs> you said your stomach hurt, did you not? I believe that was a lie. What really happened? Huh? <laughs> it varies from person to person, but whenever someone lies, they tend to have a way of showing it. Yeah, she can see it because of the bluffing that comes with card games. It's called a tell, something that you can't hide no matter how hard you try. Is that okay? Whenever he lies, the tip of her nose gets a little just a little bit longer. Huh? What? For real? <laughs> Actually no. Huh? Oh. But your reaction just now confirmed it. You were lying. Oh. That's not fair. <laughs> Mm-hmm. If you're going to lie, at least try to lie convincingly. Hina. Hina, be honest. Were you lying about your stomach ache? Oh, come on, you gotta come clean with this, because if you just keep on lying, it's gonna make you look terrible. Yes. I see. Why? Why would you lie about that? That's it. Are you I'm feeling sure guilty about something? Just a second! No, that's not it at all. But... It's just... I mean, I have a reason for it. Reason? Sorry. To be honest, I didn't have a stomachache. That is because even if I came and told you the truth, I thought you wouldn't believe me. The truth? Well... I saw it. So what? A ghost. Mm -hmm. 
Well, this is interesting. A ghost? You mean like mad ghost? Hey, is there is there more than one ghost? But uh, I mean, ghosts are. What the heck? See, I told you you wouldn't believe me. It's not that I don't believe you, but Hina. I believe you. No matter what anyone else might say, I believe I will believe whatever you say, no matter what. Oh, so you can tell us exactly what happened. If you really mean that, Sakura. Okay, I'll tell you. So, um... It happened last night. I was, in a, I was in bed, but I couldn't get to sleep. I just kept thinking about everything that's happened up till now. I ended up just getting more upset. So, to try and cheer myself up, I thought I'd go get some donuts. Huh? Donuts again? Honestly. And you ignored the rule regarding nighttime. Sorry. I know. Sorry. I feel really bad about that. Gina. Anyway, please continue. But... Well, so I left my room and headed for the warehouse. But then I started hearing a strange sound. Well... It was coming from the direction of the bathhouse. So I headed that way. The locker was halfway open, so I took a look inside. And I saw a human shape surrounded by a pale green light. There's no doubt who it was. It was Chiro. Say what? <laughs> you have the best dramatic reaction I've ever seen, dude. Oh no! Okay, you're second place. No way, a ghost? Honestly. That is simply not possible. You must be mistaken. Just as in most cases of paranormal activity, it was warm from your weakened mental state. Well then. Then all we have to do is go see for ourselves, right? Let's just go to the bathhouse and see what Hina saw. <sighs> it is a waste of time. Maybe, but there's no harm in it, right? If you don't even find anything, that'll be the end of it. What? 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 You're gonna go and try- you, You're gonna go try and see a ghost? Is that really a good idea? It might put a curse on you. What the heck? You can wait here if you want. Please. I don't want to be alone. Take me with you. Hey, what are you going to do, Celeste? There is nothing to I be done. I suppose I have no choice. Mm. How about you, Mr. Ishimura Maru? Are you going to wait here? Wow. Oh. I guess that's a yes. So um. <coughs> It was right here. I saw it right here in the dressing room. Uh, um. Uh, I'm getting goosebumps. Come on, come on. Uh. Yeah, yeah. Cthulhu Clogan. Oh, whatever the hell that is. <laughs> Shut up. What if he actually shows up? Hina. I cannot speak Lovecraftian. I'm sorry. You know, where was it you saw Chiro's ghost? Well... Well, I heard a sound, and when I opened the locker, I saw a kind of pale outline of Chiro. So I guess that means we gotta check that locker over there. No, I don't want to talk to you! Oh, okay. Um, is this the locker? There was something in here. Laptop. Huh? Inside the locker is... A laptop? What's something like that doing here? Hey. I remember seeing this. Oh, that's right, I saw it in the library before. Wasn't that the one that was broken? <laughs> it looks like a laptop. The laptop looks pretty old, and it's all covered in dust. So... It's broken. I tried pressing the power button earlier, but nothing happened. It's broken, huh? Too bad. But how did a laptop get from the library to here? It would seem... And I guess it's in sleep mode, but the power is definitely on. Huh? But I thought it was broken. Hmm. I would bet that Chihiro fixed it. Well, it does make sense because she was kind of a whiz at this stuff. After all, he was known as the ultimate programmer. Then perhaps... More importantly, Hina, you said you saw a green light, yes? Surely you did not mistake the light of the monitor for a ghost. It's possible. Wow, Celeste. I'm surprised you're able to dress yourself in the morning. 
Yo man, if I had the love's clueless girls attribute, I would have fallen in love big time just now. I'm so glad I don't have it. Wow. She makes a good point. Well, I didn't really expect to be to find a freaking laptop inside a freaking locker, okay? Hey, come on. It's okay. I mean, anyone can make a mistake like that. Mm. As a matter of fact, well, one time I thought I'd spotted a grey alien, but it turned out to be a tadpole. What are you saying? Don't compare me what happened to me to one of your stupid delusions. Don't be mean. I was just trying to make you feel better. What if I get all depressed forever now? But listen, isn't this really strange? What's this laptop doing in here? Everyone is actually kind of ignoring the fact that the fucking laptop is in the locker. It used to be in the library, and it was broken. Now it's fixed. Come on, guys. Priorities. In other words, maybe someone hid it here. But if that's the case, we found it pretty easy. Wrong. Whoever put it here, I don't think they were trying to hide it from us. Huh? What do you mean? Hey. Haven't you noticed? There's one big difference between this room and all the others. No cameras, and Monokuma doesn't come in here. It's the one room he doesn't show up in. There's a difference. There's no surveillance camera. Yes, it's Precisely. Me. There's no camera in here. Which means this is the one spot where the mastermind is blind. Hmm. So you're hmm. saying someone put hmm. the laptop here hmm. so the mastermind wouldn't know about it? It's true. And what he knew so wasn't the ordinary glow of a computer screen. It was the figure of Chihiro shining pale green. Hey. I think it would be best if we investigated this laptop in a little more detail. Now we're getting somewhere. <clears throat> it's just like Yoko said, the display isn't on, but the laptop definitely has power. So then. So first of all, we have to wake it up. Right. I started any random buttons on the keyboard. And the display instantly began to glow a pale green. There was a bunch of different icons on the desktop. Hey. There, the icon on the far left. What is it? It says Alter Ego? Hmm. Alter Ego literally means another self, I believe. In the field of artificial intelligence, it is not uncommon to create different aspects of a personality. You know a lot about a lot of things, if I have to be honest. You can consider it something like a pen name. Makoto. Could you let me see it, Makoto? That Kyoko moved between me and the computer. She moved the cursor of the Alter Ego icon. And when she double clicked it, the screen suddenly went dark, and then a voice spoke to us. You really came! Oh shit. Chira's face appeared, taking up the entire display. Oh, it's no! a ghost! Go down, sweet baby Jesus, save me! Calm down. Calm down, it's not a ghost. What? What? Um... Then, what is it? Anyway... I'm sure if we just talk to it, we'll find out. Kyoko began to type. Hands blurring across the keyboard. What are you? And then? Hello, nice to meet you. I'm Chihiro Fujisaki. Hmm. <laughs> I always get so embarrassed of introducing myself. That that voice, the tone, and everything. Mm. It's Chihiro. I knew it. Alter ego. I've heard about of this kind of AI program, but I've never seen one for myself. AI program? That's right. It's how Chihiro earned his title of Ultimate Programmer. The AI lives in a computer and by repeating different tasks, it gains knowledge and grows bit by bit. That's pretty impressive! That's really clever. <laughs> Apparently Chihiro used the support vector machine and reinforced l reinforcement learning to develop it. Eventually he came up with a breakthrough in artificial intelligence design. Support of vector machine? Reinforcement learning? It's true. To put it simply, it's a learning method for computers. Um, if you want to know more, that's it. just I'm Google sure it, okay? It. <laughs> yeah, that's what everyone these days does. Don't understand? Google. In other words. But if this AI continues to grow, it'll become more than just a piece of software to help people. Some say that an AI like this might someday replace people. That's a spooky thought. That's really a spooky fucking thought. Hmm. And that is why it is called Alter Ego. A fine choice then, I must say. It can create memories, have thoughts, and grow up. The process isn't much different from how humans work. <laughs> if you were to raise your own AI that way, it would make perfect sense to refer to it as your Alter Ego. That actually makes a lot of sense. 
A second perfect personality that can never forget or grow old. That's what Chihiro created. That's alter ego. Kyoka, how do you know so much about this? Are you oh. Kyoka, Anyway, so he fixed a broken laptop and put his own program on there. That is what this means, yes? What is Kyoko hiding? Then he brought the machine to this dressing room, where the mastermind would not be able to see it. <laughs> hmm, but you know, all this about master and whatnot? Yes, yes, you little pervert! Okay, then again, I can't really deny anything either, so... I, I believe I'm on fire. You really are a pervert and I'm actually kind of offended that this game is making me read stuff like this. Huh? I thought you were only into 2D. <laughs> this is the most excellent 2D possible. Huh? But he's a guy and also a computer program. I feel as if... Oh, that aspect is no problem. I mean... That aspect... Anyway... Oh dear god. <laughs> Let's talk to him a little more. Kyoko typed away rhythmically. How much do you know about what's going on? Master. Master only gave me a general idea. Yeah. But I do know that things have become very grave. He found himself caught up in this without warning. Kyoko immediately shot out another question. Why are you here? That's why. Are you asking what Master had planned for me? Well, he wanted me to analyze the massive number of files stored on this desktop, uh. on this laptop. I believe the files are related to the school, but the protection on them is surprisingly strong. So it's taking me a little longer than I thought. Master. But here's what Master must have been thinking. The fact that the files are protected so tightly means that they must contain import an, um, some important secret. For example, perhaps the secret of the school. Which, honestly, that? I'm curious about this. Why, why does the school exist I mean the ultimate despair thing and everything? I want to know about this. While I was busy struggling to make a sound, Kyoka pushed forward and asked her next question. How much longer until everything is unlocked? That's right. Um, it's gonna be a while. Leave it to me. But I'm definitely gonna do it, so you can just leave it to me. I see. So because of how long it would take, he designed Alter Ego to handle the workload. <laughs> Smart. It also means that the work remains uninterrupted even after his death. Once again, Kyoka typed quickly. Keep it up, but be careful not to let the mastermind notice you. Don't right. worry, I've got a secret plan already, just in case. Actually, I can see what's going on using my bolt-in webcam, so if anyone suspicious shows up, <laughs> I'll just scream for help real loud. It's a pretty basic plan, I have to say. Yes, indeed. That is fine during the day, but my time is a concern. Huh? Why? Are you okay with this? Have you forgotten? All our rooms are completely soundproof. Once we close our doors, he can scream as loud as he wants, but we won't hear a thing. Okay, then how about once it's night time, we each take turns guarding the dressing room? However... There's a good chance the mastermind will notice all, us all going out of the dressing room like that. Then... what can we do? Maybe designate someone as the keeper and they keep the laptop with them. So then... Once night time comes, I'll leave the door to my room open. And there's no way I can miss Alter Ego yelling. But... But if you leave your di or door open all night, then... It's true. There's a chance I may become a victim myself. I know. However... But I'm not as weak as you may think. Ooh, this mysterious lady over here! I wouldn't go down without a fight, I assure you. There was an undeniable strength in her voice when she said that. She was totally confident she would be okay. That confidence was somewhat similar to Byakuya's tone, but at the same time different. Yeah, it had an entirely different feel for sure. Like, someone who'd been dropped onto a battlefield versus someone who'd been born on a battlefield. I feel like that was the fundamental difference. I was pulled out of my thoughts by the voice suddenly emanating from the laptop. So, um, um, would you mind if I asked a few questions? Um, I haven't seen Master for a while. When you got here, I thought it was him, but... His master... For a split second, Kyoko seemed to not know what to do. But she recovered just as fast and quickly began typing. How do you... Essentially, this this program cares about you here. How do you tell him something like this? Her answer was clear, concise, direct. She is dead. Mondo killed him. Okay, then. I see. To be honest, I knew all along. I knew the chances that Master would survive this situation were very low. 
So, I was prepared for this moment. <laughs> it's like... Oh. Somehow I feel kinda sorry for her. Um... I can't imagine how it must feel to lose your other self. <laughs> it is a simple computer program. It does not have feelings. What? Honestly, I think AI could actually someday rival people. I know I'm probably gonna get flamed or burned for this, but... If artificial intelligence keeps going as it's going, one day we might actually have a situation on our hands where artificial intelligence and human emotion and everything, it's gonna be really hard to separate who's human and who's machine. Are you sure about that? Shall we go? Anyway, that's enough for today. If we linger here too long, the mastermind will start to suspect something. And then Kyoko typed one last sentence. I'll come back later. Yes, please do. It's a promise, okay? Bye bye. Yeah, it seemed totally different from when we first arrived. He seemed a beat. Was it just because he was following his programming? Or could he have actually been worried about us? Could it be? Uh what's wrong, Hero? You know? No, oh, nothing. I was just wondering if we might be able to get this laptop online. We could call for help from the outside. Hmm. But this is just a dressing room. I don't think you can get online from here. Well? Well, if we take it out of here and find somewhere that does have online access. Hey! That's way too dangerous. The mastermind will find out in no time, which is true. Uh, um... Oh, yeah, uh, true. Indeed. This is no time for for taking needless risks. For now, I'll monitor the progress of the file analysis. I'm confident we'll uncover some kind of clue once it's finished. Hmm. This feels like a detour more than anything else, but I suppose it can't be helped. Of course. Well, for now all we can do is wait for Alter Ego to finish his work. You know? So, should we get going? It's true. Indeed. <laughs> Goodbye. We'll be back, I promise. You are so creepy. <sighs> Come on, Ifumi, let's go. I suppose. Okay. And we all left the dressing room. As soon as we were out in the hall, Hina let out a joyful shout. <laughs> Isn't it awesome? I ended up doing something totally awesome, right? And as if he'd been waiting for his cue, yeah. <laughs> Hina has gained enough experience to level up. What's the matter? So, what was this awesome something? Monokuma. What the heck? You guys all seem in remarkably good spirits. Did something happen? No, nothing in particular. Yeah. Ooh, keeping secrets? No fair. I demand an exclusive interview. Aww. Denied, denied, super denied. What the heck? Yeah, just because you demand something doesn't mean you have to do it. Say what? You mean like. Do it, do it. <laughs> that, I don't know, every time I read stuff Monokuma says, or even now lately Genocide Jack, it throws me so bad, I don't know what to expect. Wait, what? What do you mean, do it, do it? Oh, come on. Yes. Yes. Ew, gross, you said do it. Just what? You said it first! <laughs> we were just talking about going to the bathhouse. We have not had a chance to relax in some time. Ooh, Celeste to the rescue! Huh? Huh? <sighs> but unfortunately, the bathhouse is not divided into men and women sections. <laughs> so we decided to do rock, paper, scissors to decide which group would go first. You know, won the match for us, and that's why we we're all so pleased. Huh? <laughs> Holy crap, Celeste with the save! Oh my god, that's... Oh, that's impressive. That is so impressive. Yeah, that's right. Speaking of which... Okay, boys, why don't you head on back to the dining hall or something? We're gonna take a nice long bath. Hey, come on! Aw, oh, jeez, what are you gonna do, right? We lost fair and square. <laughs> well, ladies, shall we go? Celeste didn't hesitate coming up with a ruse, and her poker face didn't even flinch. So, she and the other girls headed back into the dressing room. Oh, um... um damnation! Nuts and damn it, we, we totally lost. No day without getting to take my very first bath here. Uh, um... Yeah, but tomorrow for sure. You'll definitely get that bath tomorrow. Okay, so should we head back to the dining hall? Hey! Hold on! Hey! Hey! Something strange here. Very strange. Strange? What do you mean? <sighs> What's strange is, this is a perfect chance for you to sneak a peek. You little pervert! You and Ifumi are soulmates! Huh? 
That, that's you're absolutely right. I thought you were all about the tootie. <laughs> well, you need to shut up, sit down, and listen to what I have to say. An opportunity like this doesn't come along very often. It's the ideal setting of a man's fantasy. I was forced to ask myself, should I sneak into the bath bathhouse like Monokuma said, or just go quietly back to the dining hall? No, I can't do it. I can't treat the girls like that. Let's just head back to the dining hall. <laughs> what? Wah -wah? But what about your man's fantasy? I'm not sure a real man's fantasy should be about spying on girls and stuff. It should be more about your hopes or your dreams of adventure or whatever. But anyway, I'm not gonna spy on them. This is kinda depressing. <laughs> wow. I see. I can't even describe my bitter disappointment. My primo fan service could have been yours. We headed back to the dining hall, <laughs> leaving Monokuma standing there alone. Wow, that just sounds so depressing. But to be honest, even I was a little reluctant to turn down the offer. <laughs> wow. <laughs> fantasy. Like... Fantasy, my fantasy. Uh... So, I guess you dig the real thing just like any other guy, huh? Mm -hmm. The only reason I care is because it's a good reference for creating figurines. A real live woman is useless to me, but looking at their naked form might be okay. Maybe. No way! If the girls heard you say that, we'd all be dead meat for sure. Meanwhile, we heard the busy, the buzzing of busy voices growing louder. The girls had finished their baths and joined us in the dining hall. You got it! Oh man, what a nice bath. This is fine. Getting a chance to stretch out and relax after all this time was a true pleasure. Indeed. Indeed. Of course. Normally after a wrong bath, I like to make myself a nice protein coffee, but... <laughs> Sorry, no time for that. So in the end. That's what I figured. Huh? huh? Actually. You're just saying the bath out was about time for you to get up to something. Because after seeing how happy we were, an evil little monster like you would never let that last for long. Mm. You're also terrible to me. My entire existence! Everyone's so cold and mean. Even after I get pre got presents for you all. Presents? Well now, well now, mm. well now. Oh, well, I haven't well, got now. your attention. Let's head to the gym where your prisons await. <coughs> no questions, no dilly dallying. Get a move on, and everything will become clear. Oh, um, what is it? Why are you scheming this time? It would seem he's probably going to repeat the same thing again, providing us with a mo motive to get things moving. Huh? Again? I don't want to. I don't want to do this anymore. <sighs> Me neither. I'm like totally traumatized. However. It's okay, we have alter ego. I'm sure you'll find something that'll help us. So for now, correct. we have to just endure it. Come what may. I'm curious what the hell he's gonna do this time because, yeah. He's a pretty unpredictable little twat. With heavy feet, we made our way to the gym. But when we arrived, there was already someone waiting for us. What? To be kept waiting by the likes of you, rest assured, if we had access to firearms, you'd all be dead. Byakuya, did you get here early? Did you forget how to walk? Is that why you're late? It's simple, right foot, left foot, right foot. <laughs> the same as always, I see her, on the other hand. It's Toku heck? again? Oh, she's back to her DB down herself, huh? Hm. I heard what sounded like a sneeze, and she was back to her old self. <laughs> Now she goes from manic to de manic to depressive whenever she sneezes. Seems kind of late to add that into the mix. <laughs> the <heck? laughs> okay. Why does everyone keep making fun of me? Maybe you all win the lottery and get hit by a bus. Wow. Uh. So, when you want to say something mean, then you can talk, huh? Well. Anyway, it looks like everyone's here. So then. Which means. <clears throat> Now, there really isn't a lot of people left anymore, now is there? You guys? It looks like everyone's here, so then let's get started. What? Come on, out with it. What kind of motive have you prepared for us this time? However, whatever you subject us to, we will not break. Okay. Yeah, that's right. We're not going to lose to you ever again. Come on. 
You don't have to get so defensive. Calm down. I've decided to change things up a bit this time. When have you not done that? Up till now, I've been using the whoosh of the north wind to get you all moving. But sometimes you gotta use the sun to light a fire under someone's butt. That's painful. Without further ado, <laughs> I give you this! Ten million dollars! I prepared this graduation present for whichever lucky student makes it out of here alive! What do you think? It's ten million bucks! Ten million smackaroos! It's like totally wowie wow wow, am I right? <laughs> Okay. So that's the motive of food, is it? Ten million dollars is... It's not nearly enough. It's true. When it comes to motives, money certainly is the gold standard, so to speak. Whether it's in a mystery novel or the real world. But... What are you saying? There's no way we'd kill each other for money. Of you course. sure about that? She's right, you can't simply purchase a person's life. Uh um, you can say 10 million or however much, I don't give a crap for serious. Yeah, they're all right. Whatever it's, whether it's 10 million or any other amount of money. No, not even just money. From now on, no matter what you do, we won't kill our friends. <laughs> Come on, stop trying to act tough. I can't wait! I can't wait! <clears throat> the most important thing is to live a pure and moral communal life. Monokuma disappeared, leaving his words on stage along with a massive sum of money. Um... There's nothing to worry about, right? Yeah, that kind of felt... Uh, I was for sure that he was going to make more of a motive out of it. No one would kill a friend for money, right? Hmm. Have you so quickly forgotten the lesson from last time? You can't judge others by your own standard. I... As much as I hate this little dipshit... I kind of do have to agree with him on that. You really can't judge others based on what you would do. People are unpredictable. Yeah, there might be someone here who's having money problems. Oh. Oh no. Oh no, I think I already know what's gonna happen. Personally, I've earned over one million dollars from my gambling efforts. My life is comfortable. If for me, you. what about you? you know nothing. I'm a super popular content creator. I don't have any problem making enough money to buy my comics and DVDs. Yeah. Then... Hey. Just stop. Pressing others about their personal finances is ugly. <laughs> ugly? <laughs> don't worry. Either way, whatever's going to happen will happen without warning. That is the nature of this game. I have to resist the urge every time to read that. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially nighttime. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry <clears throat> at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then, sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bug fight. Hmm. It's sad time already, huh? Hey, before we separate, let me remind you. Starting tonight, I'll be leaving my room door open to make sure nothing happens to alter ego. But just because my door is open, don't assume that it will make me an easy target. Because... Or the predator may suddenly find itself a prey. Ooh. She badass. Her voice was calm and composed, but it was clear she meant what she said. You know? Okay, okay, let's everyone just head back to our rooms. How about that? And don't think about that whole money thing, got it? Good, then let's break. Hmm. How was that? Pretty good, right, Sokka? Eh, he's still lost to the world. Hmm. Right. As soon as I was back in my room, I crawled into bed. Money, there's no way that's gonna get anyone to kill anyone else. I told myself that. But deep in my heart, I was still troubled. After all, I thought the same thing last time about having our secrets revealed. Even if the reason for it seems completely nonsensical, a murder can still happen. That's the lesson we learned. But this time... This time is different. I'm sure of it. Because of the program Chihiro left behind, Alter Ego, we finally have some small hope to grasp onto. As long as we have that, 
then I'm sure. <clears throat> baby. Little kids have it so easy, because they can put little in front of their name and run off the bat everyone thinks they're cute. Well fine then, I want everyone to start calling me Little Molokuma. See, just by adding that my cuteness goes up by at least like 10%, right? Yeah, the world doesn't have nearly enough littles. More littles would lead to the salvation of the world. Interesting. Just imagine, little arsonist, little war criminal, little destruction of the environment. Hmm. Little hidden run, little death tax, little great depression. Even the darkest subject can suddenly become brighter. Hmm. Our dreams are expanding. Ding ding. Good morning, everyone. It is now 7 a.m. and nighttime is officially over. Time to rise and shine. Get ready to greet another beautiful day. Okay, guys. So I'm going to cut it here. And yeah. Oddly, this episode didn't have much in the way of the murder and stuff happening, but... It made me question some things, like that photo, and what are the files that all alter ego is busy cracking, and stuff like that. There's a lot of stuff that I'm, I want to question, I want the answers, and I want them now, but I can be patient, I can wait, that's not a problem. But yeah, guys, so until next time. <laughs> it's, it's, it's just... My brain is turning over so much about this right now. This this game actually succeeds in making me question stuff. And just like The Walking Dead, it's making me have to think, making me have to question myself about some things that I would have maybe done. Like for 10 million, would I possibly take someone's life or not? You know, it's, it's stuff like that. Maybe I'm just looking too much into it, but my brain works like this. I put myself in the character's shoes. What could I do with 10 million dollars? I could do a lot. But then also on the flip side, my brain is like, 10 million dollars for a life. To successfully murder someone and get away with it. Is that possible? But yeah, either way, guys, thank you for watching. And remember to hit like, share with everyone, subscribe to the channel. Stuff like that helps me out. I mean, I'm still tiny and I'm still growing. But yeah, it's, it's support and keeps me going. So guys, until the next episode where we will probably find out what the, what the hell is going on in this place, I will see you later.